Hi everybody. We're going to be working on a beginner level sewing project using a pattern because trace and cut does not always work. And it's good to know how to use these patterns. We're going to use It's So Easy by Simplicity and it is pattern A1643 and I picked this up at Walmart. It was like two dollars I think. And we're going to start out by making the jacket first. So turning the pattern over and looking at what our fabric choices are, it says laundered cottons or batiks. But because this pattern is so simple, we could use a knit fabric, we could use a denim fabric, we can use whatever fabric you happen to have laying around in your fabric pile. The next thing we want to do is come to the measurement. Now remember, this is not street clothes off the rack measurements. Patterns are different. You want to look at your bust, your waist, and your hip measurement and you want to figure that out on the chart, what that comes to and what that corresponds with for your pattern size. And that is the size that you'll want to cut out. Now, I don't cut out my patterns usually. I go to the dollar store and I pick up a package of this really cheap tissue paper. And this happens to have 40 pieces and it's a dollar and that works really well for me. And I trace my patterns out on that so that I can keep all of the sizes intact on the original pattern. The next thing we're going to do is take a look at the pattern directions here. And we can see that our jacket is going to have two pattern pieces and that's going to be pattern piece 6 and pattern piece 7. Only two pieces, so super simple to make. And I went and took the rest of my pattern pieces and I put them in a Ziploc bag to keep them nice because we're going to make the dress later. And I'm going to then get these pieces ready to cut out. Now the front pattern piece I'm going to hold up to me and I'm going to make sure that I like the look of this front, how it hangs and the length. And here's our picture, we can see that. And if we're going to alter this, which we can do whatever we want, we're the designer here. We don't have to use exactly how the pattern is drawn. We can change that now before we cut into our fabric. So I'm going to hold the pattern piece up to me and I'm going to make sure that I like the length and change that if I need to before I actually cut out my fabric. So here, that was piece number six, which is marked front and sleeve. The next piece is number seven and it's marked back and sleeve. And it says to cut two, but we're going to change that up a little bit. We're going to make this easy pattern even easier. We're not going to be, let me pull this up closer to the camera. There it says center back seam, and it says cut two. We're not going to do that. We're going to cut one, but we're going to cut it on the seam. So that means that this seam line right here is going to go on the fold of our fabric. And when we open it up, our pattern will be an entire back piece. So we're going to eliminate one whole step of this pattern, but it's going to be a little bit of work. We're going to have to take out a ruler, and I like my seam allowance rulers because they're easy for me to use. And I'm marking it off at 5 eighths of an inch because that's what my seam allowance would be on my sewing machine. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on the edge of the pattern, and I'm going to make a little mark with a pen or a pencil all the way down. And then I'm going to fold that under. And that will be the new place on my pattern where I will put the new fold where we are going to mark it. I will put that on the fold of our fabric. And if you don't want to cut into your patterns, if you want to keep your original patterns intact, now's the time to trace it off onto your cheap tissue paper and then fold the other pattern away. But make sure that you mark the pattern number on it and the size that you are going to be making that you traced onto your tissue paper and any lines such as the grain line or if it's a cut on the fold, go ahead and write that on the pattern that you're tracing. So this was the first part and I'm going to go ahead and prepare my patterns and we'll come back and we'll take a look at how we're going to lay that on the fabric.